Hey, this is uh, Chuck Williams, Diamond Global Power Affiliate with the Shopping Sherlock, and I've got one of my best friends in the world, Pete Hamby, on the line with me, and Pete's in Hong Kong right now, and Pete and I were just talking, and he was telling me about some of the stuff that was going on in Hong Kong. Pete, what are you doing in Hong Kong, buddy? I am building my Sherlock business <laughs> but, and having fun while I'm doing it. Awesome. You were telling me about some of the successes you're having over there. Can you share some of those with me? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, we basically had one affiliate in uh, Hong Kong that's on my team, and you know, I told him, I says, if you'll, you know, if you'll set something up, I really want to help get things going in in Asia and Hong Kong. And I said, you know, I'll come over there. And he said, sure, come over anytime. So I called, booked a flight, and told him, hey, I'm going to be there on this certain day, and I'll be there for a week to help you get started. So, you know, he took the challenge to try to get people together for me. You know, uh, I flew from all the way from South Africa. Uh, I actually got up at 4.30 in the morning, had things to do all day, flew 13 hours through the night, arrived in Hong Kong at 12.35 in the afternoon. He had a meeting set up for me at 2, so going through customs, getting my luggage, uh, you know, getting a taxi ride all the way from the airport into the city, and this is a huge city. This is like a New York City, 9 million people here in Hong, on the island of Hong Kong. Uh, arrived at a Starbucks. He had four people there sitting there waiting to meet with me. Uh, did a quick short presentation with them after getting to know them a little bit, and we signed all four of them up while we were there. Then we had another meeting set up at three o'clock or three thirty. Got in a taxi, went across town, met with another guy, uh, left there, got a taxi back to the same Starbucks, met with a few more people there. They ended up signing up that night. Uh, you know, and by the end of that night, at that day, uh, my one distributor here in Hong Kong was a power affiliate. So, you know, we were able to do that in just a few hours of me being in Hong Kong. Uh, you know, got up Sunday morning, started doing uh, presentations about nine o'clock in the morning. Ended up, uh, well, Saturday night, we didn't end up getting done till about midnight. So I was up about forty hours doing presentations and flying. Uh, but then Sunday was a, an all-day event, too. Met several people. They came by the hotel uh, that I was staying at. We did presentations in the lobby. Went, went to Starbucks and met people. Ended up that night uh, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Uh, Monday was a little bit slower. Everybody was back at work, but we still met with several people. Today's been really busy. Started doing meetings uh, a little bit before lunch. Just got back uh, into my hotel room about 10:30, 11 o'clock tonight, and was just talking with Chuck. And you know, Chuck, we've uh, we've had great success here. Uh, I've met with about 20 people, give or take a few. I, I lose track, uh, but about 15 or so of those people that I've met have all joined the business. You know, the opportunity around the world is so so exciting. People are, you know, people love this industry. They love network marketing, but people are also getting, they're, they're excited about seeing something new. You know, with the Shopping Sherlock, we're offering a, a, a product uh, that is technology-based. You know, it's a great app. You know, they're seeing it. I mean, I'm, I'm only showing the app for maybe a minute or two, just showing them how it works. I don't even do searches. I just say it does this, it does that. And they're like, really? I can be in the app business? You know, and here in Hong Kong, if you walk around, it's like walking on the streets of New York. You know, there's thousands and thousands of people you're trying to walk through and try to cross lights, and there's taxis and buses, and, you know, but everybody's got their cell phone out. You know, everybody is on, is on the smartphones. They're either shopping, talking, texting, you know, doing meetings, whatever, while they're walking around. Uh, but to be able to offer a business like that here, everybody that we talk to, you know, out of those 20 or so people, none of them have said no. The ones that haven't signed up uh, to, you know, to buy their license to be part of this opportunity isn't because they uh, said no. It's because they're waiting for the, their payday, which is the end of the month. So, you know, the success rate with talking to people right now here in Hong Kong, everybody loves this opportunity. It's refreshing. It's something, you know, I talked to a 26-year-old today. His parents have been network marketers for 20 years. And he, he 
he didn't even like the idea because he didn't want to sell a product. Today, we gave him the opportunity. He's going to get back with us tomorrow, but uh, 26 years old, he's like, man, this is exciting. I never thought I would get into network marketing because I didn't want to sell you know, some product for somebody. Hey, so, Pete, two, two quick things, buddy. Uh, you know, things, uh, things are happening. Number one, I'm sorry to cut you off there, but number one, uh, you drop yourself into a city where you know one person, and you've never met him basically before, to the best of my knowledge, so you know one person, and yet by networking through that one person and his context and now through their context, you've, you're building a strong team there. Can you kind of just give us a couple stories about how different people have led you to different people, how really you're in Hong Kong, but this could happen anywhere. I could literally drop you out of a plane anywhere and you can meet somebody, and that somebody will lead you to their contacts and so forth and so forth. Can, can you kind of give us a couple stories there? And then I, I want to finish up with, you know, what you're actually sharing with these people. So kind of tell us how you met one person okay. and then how that has led to so many others. Well, you know, the one person that I signed, Pierre, uh, he actually signed up in February. He's been busy with family and work and different things. And, you know, like, I, like we said, you know, there was nobody else here. He was the only one in Hong Kong. So... You know, for, for example, he led me to a lady by the name of Rose. Rose, he had actually talked to a few months ago, but she was busy with whatever she was doing. Well, she met with me. Actually, she was supposed to meet with me with at 2 o'clock. She blew us off. Anyway, and ended up, her, uh, Pierre's wife called and said, you better be down there, Pete, Pete and uh, Pierre's there. And this was like at 7 or 8 o'clock at night. So she, her and her friend come. They come within 10 minutes of me showing them, showing them the app and showing them the opportunity. They both signed up. Uh, this was late Saturday night. By mid-afternoon Sunday, uh, Rose had already personally enrolled her four people, made her two hundred and fifty dollars back, and uh, you know, and so she became star affiliate. That night, Pierre became power affiliate. Uh, Saturday night, and then uh, Pastor Santiago became star affiliate today. And they're all rushing to be star affiliate before I leave here on our power affiliate by Saturday. So we should be busting, you know, three, four, or five power affiliates before Saturday. And we're doing this all in one week. But we're we're working through the people. You know, Rose introduces me to this guy, you know, Gilbert, who's going to introduce me to a to a leader here in Hong Kong uh, tomorrow afternoon. I was giving him the presentation. Within the first five minutes of the presentation, he's looking through his phone, his contacts, and texting this guy saying, "You got to meet, you know, you got to meet with me tomorrow." You know, and it, you know, he talked to him and said, "Yep, I can meet with you guys at four o'clock." You know, so it's just actually, you're right. I was dropped into a city of nine million people. <laughs> okay, and we're just we're just really really excited about what's going to happen here in Hong Kong. And if you don't know anything about Hong Kong, Hong Kong is a melting pot. You have Filipinos, you have Chinese, you have Koreans, Malaysians, you know, Taiwan, Thailand, uh, Americans here. We signed up an American expat here. He's a school teacher. He's from Texas, you know. Uh, so, you know, we're not, it's not a concentrated in one culture. We're, we're spreading out. We've, we've signed up several Chinese people. We said... Filipino people, like I said, Americans, you know, uh, and this from Hong Kong is going to spread into China, it's going to spread into Malaysia, all over the world just from going from this week, I took off work, I took vacation, instead of laying on the beach somewhere for my vacation, I'm building my Sherlock. Yeah, you're obviously paying the price, and now everybody listening to this interview is going to want to know, what in the world are you telling these people? You're, you're doing a quick 10-minute presentation. And halfway through that presentation, they're already thinking about who they can introduce you to. Everybody wants to know, so tell me, Pete, what do you share with these people? How are you doing this? Well, I'm basically talking to them a little bit, you know, just very little about the company. We're three years old next month, so you're not really, you're not joining a new company. You're joining a well-established company. We are new to the Asian market, or, you know, we're really new to the whole world, I tell them. And... You know, we set up our, you know, infrastructure and, you know, really solidified the company. Uh, I pull out my phone and I say, this is my product. I said, I carry around my iPad. I carry around my smartphone. I don't carry a bag of product to sit, sit here and show you and tell you about all these different things that, you know, that I'm trying to sell you. 
then I show them, I just open the app, I say, look, you know, instead of going to Google and searching through a million websites, you click here, shop, you put in what you're looking for, you hit select all, you hit the button, it goes out and searches all the websites and brings you back the cheapest price. I say, then if you want a flight, click here, I show it. If you want a hotel, click here. I don't go through and do a price comparison. I don't do all that. And, you know, uh, once in a while I may just put iPad in there and click it and it just shows it. You know, I just kind of show that. But I don't do a lot of price comparison. I don't do any of that. I tell them the success, you know, stories, you know, a few success stories. You know, we have two diamonds in the company. We've got Simon Brooks in the UK. We've got uh, Chuck Williams in the US. And, you know, We've all been with the company basically through since day you know since we started. Uh, you know, I'm giving them a little bit of information. Then I say, you know, look, we have two products. We have a product that we give to our customers for free. It's an app. They save time. They save money. I showed you how that works. I said, now we also have a product. I said we have a license. We have a license to distribute our our app. I said it, it's the same thing if you're going to distribute Microsoft's. Uh, Software, you're, they're going to sell you a license to distribute their software. I said, that's what we're doing. It's a one-time $249. Here in Hong Kong, it's $19,044 uh, Hong Kong dollars. I said, it's one time. Then we have a subscription fee of $34.95. That subscription fee pays for, you know, your couple websites you get. You know, we have to pay for the servers. We accept credit cards, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I really say blah blah blah. You know, uh, you know, but that's the cost of doing business is thirty four ninety five a month. I said, uh, I and then of course, you know, I tell them, you know, I'm going to help you get your investment back as fast as I can. Then I go through the compensation plan. You know, every two licenses you sell for two forty nine, you make a hundred dollars. I show them how that I want to help them get uh, sell four licenses as fast as they can. I show them how it's done, how they get their money back. I said, and then we're going to teach everybody to do the exact same thing. And I just go through it, I, the compensation plan, I go through the, you know, the fast start, uh, I go through the cycle bo $50 cycle bonuses, I go through the $10 uh, monthly subscription cycle bonuses. I talk about, we have, you know, these are the positions. The first one is Star Affiliate. I said, it doesn't really pay, you know, it's not monetary. I said, it's just an advancement. A lot of people like to be recognized for doing certain things. I said that's basically, you know, you have uh, you sell a license, one license on the left, one license on the right, your star affiliate. I said in power, you know, you sell your four licenses, you have a team of twelve. I said that that's really not a monetary thing either, except what it does is now you are instead of being capped at two thousand dollars a week, it goes to three thousand dollars a week on the fifty and ten dollar bonuses. I says, but where you want to be is global. Let me show you how to get there. Then I go through to be global, and how the twenty percent match in the in the equity uh, sharing program. And then I say, then diamond. I said, I'm not really going to explain how to get to diamond. We're not ready for that anyway. But when you do, you get a thirty percent check match. I say, and by then they're already looking at their phone, saying, who who can I who can I you know share this with. You know, or hey, sign me up. I'm in, and it's just really so refreshing that uh, you know the people over here have they're they're looking for an opportunity. You know, just like Michael said, you know, it's cool to be an entrepreneur now, and and these people, these are successful people. Hong Kong, it costs five dollars for a cup of coffee. It's not cheap to live here, so you better be good at what you're doing, or you're not going to survive. You know, these people make a lot of money but they also spend a lot of money you know I was one at one of the distributors homes the other day it's just a small apartment three bedrooms kitchen living room and that's it bathroom and that's it and it cost him eighteen hundred US dollars a month just for rent you know and this is a small small place it's a nice place but it's just you know I think most of the places in Hong Kong are pretty pretty small everything's high rises I think he lives on the 26th floor or something like that, you know. Hey, Pete, you bring up a really uh, good it, point here just, because in Kazakhstan, where the average income is $250 a month, we've got people making 14000 a month with a shop in Sherlock in less than six months. It's just amazing what's happening in Kazakhstan. I got a note from Brandon Ivey, one of our top leaders here in the U.S., uh, just yesterday about uh, his team in Korea is exploding 
We know our team in Nigeria is exploiting. We know the UK is doing awesome. Sweden, uh, your team in the Philippines with uh, Global Power for the, Willie Davis. This thing is going everywhere. So people don't have to fly to Hong Kong to build their business. They build their business wherever they are, and they just do what you did. You're not giving them an hour-long seminar. You're not doing a whole bunch of stuff. You're just sharing the very basics, giving them enough information to make a decision. Just share that with us as we close here because you're not overloading them with information, just enough to make a good decision. Go ahead with that, please. Yeah, that's it. You know, I'm just, I'm just really given just information to give a well, uh, you know, well-informed uh, decision. They make the decision, we sign them up, and then afterwards, you know, I might bring up, hey, you know, we have Best in Social, or we got this new, you know, fundraising coming out, you know, but, but to make the, the really the, the decision, I'm giving them limited information. I'm giving them the facts. You know, I'm giving them the opportunity. I'm showing them, hey, this is our app. This is what we're, you know, as you know. So it's really, it's really quick. You know, when you're doing one-on-ones and you know during the day, and you've got a 20, 30, 40 minute taxi ride in between, and you're doing, you know, five to ten of those a day, you don't have much time. Pete, I really appreciate you taking the time to let me interview you like this. I'm sure people around the uh, world are going to appreciate hearing your story and the success. And it's just the tip of the iceberg. You're just getting started in Hong Kong. But uh, we'll be updating this interview throughout the years, and it's going to be very, very exciting to see the hundreds of thousands of lives that get changed because seeds were planted. I heard just the other day, any fool can count the number of seeds in an apple, but only God can count the number of apples in a seed. And that's what you're doing, brother. You're out there planting seeds, and there's no telling how many lives will change through the seed you plant. We're very, very proud of you, Pete. Keep up the good work, and thank you for sharing with the team. All right.